Good boy. Come on, guys. Hey, everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I wanted to give you kind of a glimpse of uh, how I start my day with the dogs, but we had an earthquake last night. It was pretty crazy, so we're getting a late start to the day today. But I still want to give you an update on Mildred and show you kind of a couple of our favorite parts on the property. And then, you know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I am kind of a neat freak. So I want to show you how I keep my house clean, um, how I rely on Simple Green to help me keep my house clean. And uh, it's mostly, obviously, the dog's fault, of course. I'm, I'm never messy. Right, guys? That's not true, Dad. That's not true. So here we go. So first and foremost, Mildred. Mildred has been with the Asher House for about, I think six weeks now, I would say. And she's just doing amazing. She is seriously one of the best dogs. If not, don't tell the others, just the best dog in the world. I'm so happy that she's here and she's just thriving and doing amazing. Um, she has lost, not lost, excuse me, wow. She has gained 30 pounds already. Um, and has gained so much energy and strength in her legs. When, when we first got her, she literally couldn't even walk. Like, she couldn't make it up a hill. She's just doing so good. And that's one of the things that I've noticed, frankly, about all the dogs since moving here. The dogs are just thriving. They're all just so much happier and better. There's so much more room for them to be able to run and play and explore. Uh, we went from 25 acres to 240 acres, and I knew the dogs would feel better here, and I knew that it would just be easier for all of us, but man, they have most certainly exceeded my expectations. So this area right here, this is, <laughs> look at Butters running, let's keep up. Come on, Butters, hurry up! <laughs> so this field right here is like the dog's field. There aren't going to be any farm animals here. Um, it's the center of the four houses, well, five houses that are on the property. So that's one that uh, my right-hand man, Steve, lives in. That's another house that someone's going to be moving into on the team. Then there's our house, and there's another house on the opposite side of the lake over there. And besides this field right here, so this whole field will be for the dogs. And then all of the other land that has pasture on it, that's more than a few acres, will be for the farm animals. I'm gonna give you guys a full tour so you could really, I want you to, get, I want you to be able to see the barn and everything like that. But I wanna show you the dog's absolute favorite part of the property. And it's seriously mine as well. Part of the reason why the house is always such a mess is what I'm about to show you next. I'm sure a lot of you can already figure out what part of the property I'm referring to, but I'm gonna show you anyways, because to me, it's just magical. Every time the dogs see it, and every time we visit it, it's, it, it feels like it's the first time we're there. I know that sounds corny, but it always feels really special. So of course, whatever the dog's favorite is, is gonna be my favorite, and their favorite spot on the entire property is the lake. The only problem with the lake is, as you could probably already see, the dogs get so muddy. And uh, look how fast Mildred goes. She gets so happy near the water. Just like me, just like her dad. See, that's a lot of mud. Oh, Lucy, Lucy. So much mud, so much mud. All right. Fun's over for now. Let's get to cleaning. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so while the dogs dry off a little bit, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. You know, guys, it's really important that I remind you that the dogs and I are not the only ones who make a mess in the house, okay? Is that right, Muggsy? I mean, come on, man, huh? Come on. All right, guys. So while the dogs are waiting for me to clean up and while I wait for them to dry off, it's never hard to find a mess in the house. Here is some leftover poop from Pom Poms. Let me show you how I clean this stuff up. Or was it you, Penny? Okay, so for poop and pee, I like to use 
This stuff from Simple Green, this one has a little bit of a smell to it, a good smell, a little bit of a lemon zest. And the original is this one, but they both smell really, really good. I know guys, I know, one second, my goodness. All right, so nothing like a little lemon to help cover up the poo smell. I know, all right, voila, and it's gone. Too easy, guys. You don't have to scrub, scrub, scrub. Just one little thing away, and then we'll do a little extra, because it's poo, and we really want that out of there. And good job, thank you. Thank you, Simple Green. All right, let's put that back, and then for the counters, I like to use these heavy duty towels right here. All right, and let's clean these towels. That is what we like to see. All right, guys, well, that's about it. Thank you for spending the morning with me, and Simple Green, thank you for helping me clean up. I love you guys, and have a beautiful day. Bye.